Welcome again to part 8 of this tutorial. Today we are going to run the unsteady two-dimensional simulation. We are going to insert the computational parameter for this uh, simulation. Let's open again our file in ECRAS. Now we can run the unsteady analysis. We run it with this icon, perform an unsteady flow simulation and we get this interface and now let's go through the computation option if this is your first run you get automatically the name plan one you can insert if you want an additional identification you set the program that it runs geometry unsteady flow simulation post-processing and float plane you can insert a description if you want here, as a first step, you need to insert starting date and the ending date. Starting date and ending date must match with your hydrograph. Let's have a look to the hydrograph. Click on unsteady flow data. We click on the hydrograph. And here we can see we start the 2nd of October 2020, 10 minutes. And here I start the 2nd of October 2020, 10 minutes and I end on the 2nd of October 24, 2nd of October 24, that's fine. My data time interval is 10 minutes, okay. Here you have your computation settings. The computation interval is a very important factor. If you use a big and long interval, your simulation will run quick but the result might not be very stable and might not be very realistic. If you take a small interval, the runtime will be longer, but your result might get more realistic. It is very difficult to say what is the right interval. This depends a lot on the size of your area. It depends a lot of the resolution of your digital terrain model. This as well depends a lot on the power of your computer. I have started with one minute. It took me a very short time to run the analysis, but the result was totally unrealistic. Therefore, they get up to one second, and with one second, the result was more realistic. Mapping output interval. This field is used to enter the interval at which you can visualize the changing of the floating in your simulation. Hydrograph output interval, I take the same output as my hydrograph. Detail output interval allows you to write profile of water surface elevation, a specific interval. So I put the same as the hydrograph output interval. Before computing the analysis, uh, we can have also a look to the option. You click on option and uh, on uh, computation option and tolerance. And you can see that there are many, many, many options that you can change and adapt. It is important to have a look to the tutorials and to the manual of this software to understand this option. I will not enter into the matter, but I can give you a link of a nice tutorial which is uh, more than one hour long that goes deep into the computation options and tolerance for unsteady flow analysis. A tutorial done by Ben Carey and Chris Godwell, specialist on this ECRAS software. In our case, we just keep the default value and we click on compute. It will take a long period to run this analysis. I'm going to sleep and check my computer tomorrow morning. Here I am again. As you can see, my process lasts for almost six hours and in the next part and the last part, we are going to analyze and to interpret the result of our simulation. Thank you very much for listening.